Live at five, it's after review. We're coming from the new HQ, and it's the best. And we've got some issues to talk about in game. And there was a blog post put out by Archangel says addressing three issues. Firstly, boy, they've they've had some mess ups in the last couple of days. It's been rough, let me tell you. Firstly, special event Spectral Emporium went live today. And the scoring inputs did not align with the previous communication. Yeah, the blog post. For power core spent, it was communicated that players would earn five points per power core spent, but it went live awarding one point per power core spent. The five points per power core was the intended amount. The team will be sending all players 25,000 points of event currency to compensate for the point disparity. This is the best way to uphold the leaderboard integrity and solve the point disparity. They are not changing the event. It is going to remain one point per power core spent, and they're just going to give everybody 25,000 currency. Okay, that was, that was the screw up for today. This is also a follow up from the screw up yesterday. Second, the new battle pass went live. This past weekend, the free track erroneously had values of 50 for each item. While this error has awarded more Sylvie shards and gear pieces than originally intended, it has incorrect amounts of dark promotion credits, armory orbs, ISO 8 ions, and gold. The team will be sending all players who qualify for the battle pass compensation for the missing items and the pass remain it is. So the free track actually has like 200 sylvie shards which is good but then they're getting like 50 pieces of gold 50 blue iso fours 50 blue iso five and that's kind of garbage so they're going to make that right uh also worth noting is that the paid track which is the 20 bucks has about 1200 extra uh dark promotion credits and there's some gold promotion credits there's elite six or some elite seven and 500 power core so i picked that up and normally i've not been buying uh, the battle pass i've been buying the strike pass but i haven't been buying the battle pass and i bought it this month thirdly after receiving feedback from players the team lowered the milestone points last week in the champion brackets of the nova trial yeah it was at like 1.9 million and they lowered it down to 1.7 million i think last time in this trial like 175 people or something were able to get to 1.9 million so it was a pain some players have encountered a bug where they cannot claim the Lord milestones. Once the event ends today, the leaderboard rewards will be sent to players. Then a fix will be deployed, enabling the player to claim any earned milestones they were unable to claim in the event review tab. Now, the question came up if the Nova orbs were going to remain in the store until they fix this problem. I know that question was asked and the answer should be yes. I mean, we'll have to see how it plays out, but you know, if you're one of the players that were impacted by the leaderboards being uh, messed up, you're going to get the, the Nova awakened orbs late. And my understanding is that they're going to leave the orbs available to open. Thank you for your patience as a team work to fix these issues. No, you should thank us. Oh, they are thanking us. Be sure to farm KP nodes early. Or earn ebony treats. I think they're gonna change this to ebony cat treats to spend in the event store. Anyways, also Moonstone went to the raid orbs, and not only did uh, Moonstone go there, but also did um, Union Jack. No, no, Bucky. Bucky went there. So Bucky went there. So I opened up all my raid orbs, and I got a little bit of Moonstone. And a little bit of Bucky. So that was kind of a nice update for today. In case you missed that. If you've been saving. So this is something that's expected. Uh, my understanding is it's not going to be coming right away. But it's going to be by year end. And this is going to be a pretty significant overhaul to the web store. Uh, and the, the msf.gg. So this is an undertaking by TyJ and Toxie. Who I used to be in their alliance. Uh, these guys were originally players and they started the Reddit, they started the Discord, and they started MSF.gg. And then um, they became employees of Scopely, and now MSF.gg falls under that umbrella. Now, the thing that is going to make the biggest difference in this new system is that it's going to make recruiting significantly easier. And if you're looking for an alliance, you should be able to find an alliance a lot easier and so on. So it's going to improve matchmaking. 
uh, largely recruiting has been a mess and it's largely done on discord and there's numerous bad things about the system uh the one of the things that they pointed out to me is that they said that 70 percent of the alliances are not full you know and i know that there are alliances that are not running at 24 people so hopefully this system will allow for people to get into nearly full alliances easier and search functions so hopefully this comes out by year end but it's not right away now there's a couple posts I wanted to read here about Cosmic Crucible. And uh, for me, I think the rewards are kind of bad for me at the part I'm playing. And then the issue that I'm personally experiencing is about people dropping down to avoid super scroll and the haves and have nots. There's a clean line in the sand right now between people that have super scroll and don't have super scroll. And it's creating some disruptions in Crucible. Now, don't agree with all this because Cosmic Crucible is my favorite game mode still, hands down. Ever since it's released, they've been keeping new ways to make it worse with horrible room traits and bug rooms that they half-ass compensate for. They've spent more time and effort making Alliance War way more fun. Again, between seasonal traits, updated war energy, massive increased war rewards, and making it an offense-heavy season as of right now. While in Crucible, even if you're lucky to be paired against someone, either a similar TCP as most of the time you're fighting massive turtle defenses like everyone's jacked up by Frost, if you're lucky, your Desi can beat it in one attack. Now, the problem that I have with Bifrost and specifically that room is the resistance. If that room had like minus 100% resistance and the ability block from Magneto landed on Sylvie uh, more consistently, the room would not be as annoying. I think there are a number of people that have lost that match just because of a, a resistance check and then they lose the crucible because of that simple thing so that feels bad it's very random and we're talking about people that even have you know switched out you know magneto for skirmisher so my issue is is mostly about that uh so we'll have to see it's just not fun to play anymore between lackluster weekly and seasonal rewards outdated store as far as the outdated store there was a data mine from tana suggesting that uh the cosmic crucible store is going to be getting Captain America World War II. It's something. It's not that great, but it's something. No new gear orbs. You can maybe get a little more G18s regularly. A lot of people take the game mode seriously when there's a new and there's an event running that requires CC wins. So you find new ways to balance matchmaking a little better. Remove dead accounts that haven't even attacked in months. Increase rewards incentivize people to get excited again. It's just becoming more and more of a chore to do attacks than a fun game now. Now, something I did here on Twitch is I pulled people and I asked them. Uh, if they had a seven yellow Quicksilver and on Twitch, it looked like it was a 58 to 42% split. So 42% of the people do not have a seven yellow Quicksilver. Quicksilver is amazing. Uh, I've had a seven yellow Quicksilver for a minute now. And I think that uh, free character is a free character. Well, it's not free, but I didn't have to pay and buy offers directly for Quicksilver. I still have to pay to play the game, but you know what I mean? And I think this is significant, but there's a basket of people that have Quicksilver at seven yellow stars. And frankly, the rewards feel lackluster. And I think that's what this post here is about. Fix CC laddering is broken. Laddering and CC is completely broken for the following reasons. Rewards are meaningless. No one cares what league they're in. Everybody has a seven star Quicksilver. Nothing to buy in the Seesaw star except focus catalyst. That's partially true. Um, what I use, I mean, not everybody has a seven, I mean, you know, 50, 58% of the people. And um, there is one slot in there that has uniques and then I do buy catalysts. So, uh, but yes, in, in that store, I've accumulated a lot of currency and there's only one slot for uniques. If this store was opened up to have something like 18s, I think that would be a big deal. Recent events require you to win all your matches. That's a castle. So players don't want to be in a competitive leagues when it matters. Super scroll is too difficult to beat consistently. So players drop down so they don't need to face him during events. And uh, there's a there's a, a ripple effect to that. Uh, there is a way of beating super scroll. Uh, Juicy has given me some videos and I've only come across one super scroll inside of Cosmic Crucible. But the next time that I do, I will be doing the two tap approach. What this means is that in any given match, players can be punching up in the range of 15 million TCP. It's not competitive, not fun. Country creators are asking you to shed some light. Scopely fixes shame to another game mode. Die simply because Scopely isn't paying attention to it. 
So I, I hopefully that new room bonuses will fix some of these problems and they, there definitely needs to be a, a restructuring of the rewards to keep more players engaged. Pocket Dimension become Forgotten Dimension. Yeah, whatever happened to that? Next legendary requires new Avengers. That's just a statement. <laughs> There's not much more to say about that, but new Avengers are gonna be the, the, the main, the team, you know, the node, you know, five and 10 team is gonna be uh, new Avengers. They haven't announced what the secondary team is gonna be. We'll have to see. Ebony Treat Store, like I said, I think they're gonna rename that to the Ebony Cat Treat Store. Uh, who's in there? So far I have Nemesis, Dark Beast, King, People have got Morbius and Video, Agatha, Heartless, Dark Beast, Nemesis, Abomination Agent, Venom, Captain Carger, Gwenpool, Moonstone, Kang. I could use some Kang shards. Hard Light. So there are is a short list of character shards that are inside of that store. That's the store that's off to the far right. So it's an event store. I do I, I do like these event stores. Um, bonus stuff is bonus stuff. And so... Um, I also, you know, like if I had 5,000 right now, I'd be buying this. I, I need the 18s, right? So that's what I would be buying if I had the currency right now. Now, gold intake September 2023 20, edition. So this is a person that tracked their gold inflows and expenditures free to play over the course of a month. And it's interesting. Um, first of all, I, I like that they did the math on gold orbs. Gold orbs... They opened 171 over the course of a month, which they've averaged 221,000. The math on those is 215,000. I knew it was just a little bit over 215,000 average on gold, gold orbs. And then basically over the entire month, they spent 104 million gold, which is 3.4 million gold per day. And some people have, I've been mentioning that they, uh, since this post was made, they doubled the war season rewards, which uh, will go from anywhere from uh, before it was four to 10 million. And now it'll go from eight to 20 million, but that should be adding, you know, let's say at a minimum 8 million more gold per month, which will make the average closer to 3.7 per day. Lastly, we've got two offers, and I just want to say offers were garbage today. Not good. What's new? Uh, but here you go. If you need the purple T3s, 100 T4s, 10 bucks, and then you thought that 20 million for 100 bucks was bad. They got 13.4 million gold for a hundred dollars. Have you lost your minds? This is absolute garbage. Th th what are they thinking with this? It's this is this is this is terrible. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. Bye for now.